This is my first attempt at growing a thermal oxide on a silicon wafer. These pieces here I cleaved earlier from a 2 inch P type 100 crystal orientation wafer. Um, as you can see, there are five pieces, and one of them is tinted much more blue than the rest of them. And that's the one that I put in a furnace for a few hours and pumped water vapor into it. And that's how you hear the oxide. If you look at it, uh, SiO2 growth chart, you'll see that's about 5,000 angstroms, actually a little bit a little bit under 5,000 angstroms. So it's, it's that little piece of wafer right there. I'll put some pictures, some close-up pictures of that uh, in the video right now so you can get a better look at it. It's not the best, um, this dust here is on the petri dish, but you'll see in the pictures that there are some impurities and uh, it's definitely, uh, I have to improve on it. I'm pretty sure most of the impurities were dust particles and stuff <clears throat> falling from the top of my furnace because as you'll see in a second it's far from ideal and uh, it was also being held horizontally instead of vertically. Here's the furnace I'm using. Um, it's not a quartz tube furnace as it should be but it does get quite hot. I did uh, this oxide growth here at about a thousand degrees C so I could have gone um, that was about maxed out on this furnace, but if it was a little bit higher, it would take less time. Uh, speaking of time, when I maxed this out, it took about two and a half hours to grow that oxide. So, the furnace is actually still warm, it was on earlier. I basically just took the wafer and placed it right here, and uh, a lot of those impurities on the surface are going to be caused from stuff falling from here, from the top of this it's all like ceramic uh, insulation and uh, that's pretty bad so ideally um, I'd want a quartz tube furnace or um, and or a quartz boat that I can load the wafers in um, vertically stack them and then put it inside the furnace but I'm pretty happy with this for my first attempt it's Tuesday right now uh, I had the day off from school so I think this weekend I'm gonna try to make some diodes and stuff with these just waiting for some spin-on dopants to come in the mail. And then I have to figure out a way to mask that. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm not really set up for photolithography, but maybe I'll come up with something.